In the last couple of videos about using SMD inductors as coils in a crystal radio, there have been several questions about the amount of coupling between these and would there be any reasonable uh, coupling. And that was a really good question. So I've got a setup that will allow us to check on that. Got an oscilloscope back here. Uh, I've got a signal generator over here. And what we'll do is we'll pump signal into one of these and I've put on leads so that we can stick it in our breadboard, pump signal into one of these, and then we will bring the second one uh, closer and farther away. We'll vary the distance, and we'll see how much coupling, if any, occurs between these. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we can also check the orientation. We can flip one of these over and uh, put it 180 degrees out of phase and see if that makes any difference with the uh, coupling. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. We got our we got our setup. We got our inductors ready to go. So let's uh, go do that. This is our setup over here. We have the oscilloscope, and the purple is the output. So that is the secondary coil that we're coupling to, and the yellow is coming from our frequency generator over here, which is set to one megahertz right now, which is the center of the AM band. And you can see that as I separate these, see the purple line over here on the oscilloscope? Yes. So there's clearly coupling going on. Um, and if I squeeze these together, I'll use the plastic so that's, well, that's not squeezing very well. I have to have these lined up really nicely. And we will get a very significant, is my hand in the way? Almost. We will get a very significant uh, amount over here, and if I do it right, I will get almost, almost uh, the same exact wave. So the coupling is good. There's not a lot of noise except for my fingers, what my fingers are adding. The ratio here is, this is set at 20 millivolts and this is set at 500 millivolts. So yes, there is a lot of loss. But again, this is a uh, not physically coupled. This is only electromagnetically coupled. So in the, in the, uh, radio, the air core coil radio, these are actually hardwired together. So there's strong coupling there. This is much more weakly coupled. Okay, let's look at another interesting fact. So let's look over here. And as I change this, note the, the uh, output, the waves stay similar shape. So this is the top end of the AM band. There's the middle of the AM band where we were. And let's go towards the low end. So that would be the low end. And you can see the waveform stay. So these are, they're relatively um, efficient. They're not uh, skewing the curves badly. The transmission between the two is pretty good. You can see that, yeah, those, the two waves line up pretty well. So we can conclude that. And what else? Um, Let's run another experiment. Let's flip one of these upside down and see if orientation makes a difference. Okay, I have this. I have flipped over the back one, and maybe you can read the numbers on there through. Yeah. Yeah, I can't really see it. If I tip it, it goes out of focus. Okay, so the back one here has been flipped over, and you can see what's happening. The wave is 90 degrees out of phase. And when I bring them together, that's even more clear. Let me do a better job of that. Yes, there we go. So that is... Uh, Huh. So if we want them to be in phase and uh, oriented serially, the best thing to do is to have them both oriented in the same direction. Okay, I can't think of any more experiments we need to run on these. Clearly, uh, coupling happens. Uh, the amount of coupling, uh, that may be open for debate, but it is clearly usable. Uh, and again, let's keep in mind that in the actual coil, these are physically coupled, so it's strongly coupled. This is much more weakly coupled. Uh, it will still make a, a lot of difference. It will still force the uh, the waves to be more 
in tune with each other, I guess is the better way to say it. Okay, so uh, again, uh, that's the end of this experiment. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your crystal radio experimentation.